All right, let's go ahead and take another look at a concavity problem. So this is a little bit different, but this is kind of a common one you might see on the AP test, where you're given a graph of H prime, and you're asked to find where H is concave up. So a moment ago, and we'll get to the justify part uh, at the end. A moment ago, we talked about that uh, a function um, that is concave up, when a, well, when a function is concave up, its second derivative is positive. So, you know, if we're trying to find where is h concave up, that would be the same thing as saying where is h double prime greater than zero. So, you know, let's just, let me just make a note of that. So we're trying to find where is h double prime greater than zero. That's what we're trying to find here, okay, to answer this question. But the thing is, again, we have a graph of h prime. So how do we, you know, get from h prime to figuring out where h double prime is greater than zero? Okay. Well, what we have to do is we have to remember that h prime, I'm sorry, h double prime is the derivative of h prime. Okay. So again, h double prime is the derivative of h prime. So what we want to think here is, um, you know, derivative and slope are synonyms essentially for one another. Okay. So saying that h double prime is the derivative of h prime is the same thing as saying h double prime is the slope of h prime. So what we can do is we can look at the slopes of h prime to determine the values of h double prime. So where the slopes of h prime are positive, the values of h double prime are positive. Okay. So once again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but the idea is that h double prime is the derivative of h prime, or the slope of h prime. So if we want to know where h double prime is greater than zero, we want to know where is the slope of h prime positive. Uh, another way is saying where is h prime increasing. That's the same thing as saying where the slope of h prime is positive. So anyways, let's look on this graph right here. So I notice that the slope is positive, um, starting at negative infinity and going all the way up to b. All the way up to b, the slope is positive on h prime. Okay? I'm not looking at the y values, whether it's above or below the x-axis, I'm looking at the slope. Okay? Then I notice the slope is negative from b up until 0, and the slope is then positive from 0 till c, and from c to infinity the slope is then negative. Okay? So most people can just look at this graph and read it and be able to answer this. Some people might prefer to make from this graph an h double prime sign chart. Okay, so if I were making an h double prime sign chart, I'd want to put the zeros of h double prime on here. And remember, just a second ago I said, h double prime is the derivative or the slopes of h prime. So to, put, you know, to find where h double prime is zero, I'd look where's the slope zero. And that would be at b, at zero, and at c. Okay, and when you are talking about your intervals in between, you know, when I look to the left of b, again, to, to fill in whether this is a plus or minus, since h double prime is the slope of h prime, I have to look, well, what's the slope? To the left of b, the slope is positive. Okay, in between b and 0, the slope is negative. In between 0 and c, the slope is positive. From c on, the slope is negative. Okay, so the question said, where is h concave up? h is concave up where h double prime is greater than 0, which we found was from negative infinity to b and from 0 to c, since the slopes of h prime are positive on those intervals. So my answer I would write as negative infinity to b and from 0 to c. Okay, That would be my answers. Now notice I put justify using h prime. That's a typical AP thing that they would ask on a problem like this. So they want you to use h prime to justify. So, you know, what we did is we looked at h prime to find where the slopes were positive or where h prime was increasing. Typically, that's the wording they use, although I think saying the slopes would be positive would be fine too. So, what I'll say is I'll say since h prime is increasing on these intervals. So they want you to use h prime, so that's why I referred to h prime right here. And you know the reason was because h prime is increasing on those particular intervals. Or I could have said since h prime has a positive slope on those intervals. Make sure you include the on those intervals part. Don't just say since h prime is increasing. Because h prime isn't always increasing, it's only increasing on those particular intervals. And that is why h is concave up on those intervals only. Okay? So just to refresh here again, my broken record thing going on here. 
where is h concave up? We should be thinking second derivative. We should be thinking, where is h double prime greater than zero? Okay? So we're, we're, we're asking ourselves this question. But the thing is, we have a graph of h prime. So from that, we have to think, well, h double prime is the derivative of h prime, or the slope of h prime. So we have to look at the slope of this graph in order to find the values of h double prime. And that's, what, that's exactly what I did.